On to architecture now. This category consistently yields abundant talent, innovation, and tonight's winner is certainly no exception. This year's finalists are Design for and Lake Flato Architects. The winner of the 2010 Architecture Design Award is Karen Timberlin. Founded in 1984, the firm is noted for its integration of research with design and a deep environmental ethic. They design for clients in the arts, public institutions, and private residences, and will soon design the new U.S. Embassy in London. We are Kieran Timberlake. Research is at the core of our practice. How do we design a building that teaches? And here to present, here to present the Architecture Design Award is Marilyn Jordan Taylor, Dean and Paley Professor of School of Design at the University of Pennsylvania. Thanks, Paula. Thank you very much. It's so great to be here. These guys are wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Good evening, everyone. Thank you, Paula. Thank you all for caring about design and coming out tonight to celebrate it. What we are doing here, what you are doing here tonight, is so much important than, the, than this magnificent room, and we have to take it out of here into the world. As Dean of the School of Design, I'm delighted to introduce to you two remarkable architects who stand very tall as alumni, studio professors, and great ambassadors of design, Stephen Kieran and James Timberlake. They deserve it. So despite that bouncing orange ball, I'm going to be serious for a moment and share with you four observations using the superlatives that Stephen and James rarely use about themselves. First, their continuous commitment to design excellence, research-based practice, and continuing exploration in material and process and assembly and sustainability is one of a kind. We can all learn from it. Their work clearly merits the international renown they are now receiving. Second, their architecture is the expression of artful solution and resourceful innovation. They not only elevate the experience of space and light, they also enhance the possibilities of everything around us, of sight, fabrication, operation, and being there. Third, it's magical. Their works offer us a glimpse into the extraordinary, the intersection of invention and beauty. And finally, I say this to the design community there, because you are too. Their way of working is principled, self-critical, and profoundly generous. This makes them superb teachers. Their multi-year design studio at Penn explores issues of water and shelter in Dhaka. 
a place where water and shelter are mutually self-exclusive of each other, and yet they do it. It is a special privilege to bring up to the stage two Philadelphians, the recipients of the 2010 Smithsonian Cooper Hewitt National Design Award for Architecture, Steve Karen and James Timberlake. I'm sorry. Wow. Uh, Marilyn, thank you so much for those extraordinary words. Um, when we set out 26 years ago, we uh, mostly just decided to keep our heads down and work hard, and that's mostly what we still do, so we're extraordinarily grateful for your um, comments this evening. I should note they'll cost you in our next contract negotiation, <laughs> but uh, which should be coming up, but we're, we're deeply grateful to you. Um, uh, we would especially this evening like to thank the Smithsonian Institution and the Cooper Hewitt, our National Design Museum, um, both extraordinary institutions. Uh, above all, this award is, I think, the most meaningful James and I have ever received. It comes not just from our peers in the architectural community, but from a broader jury of peers across all the design disciplines uh, that we all share in this world. And that, to us, is um, an extraordinary recognition for the breadth of it. We're deeply, deeply grateful to uh, the Smithsonian and the Cooper Hewitt for this recognition. Ours is a work of uh, deep collaboration, not only between Steve and myself, but also all of those in the firm. And we have to recognize Richard Maiman and David Riz, two of our principals who are here tonight, who have been deep collaborators with us. We'd also like to thank Karen Whitney, who orchestrates all that we do. Uh, we're very grateful for that. To Jonah Dutoski, who's a Cannes Film Festival winner, who did that film, that who works for us, in his avocation, he does films, hire him, but let him work for us. And then lastly, um, our families, uh, Barbara Kieran and Marguerite Rogers, our kids who help us uh, help indulge all that we do. Lastly, we've done a little bit of research. Um, and uh, we found and we think that the Philadelphia Phillies have designed a firm designed a team to go all the way, and they will take the New York Yankees in five. All right. Yeah, not so fast talking about my beloved Yankees here. I don't know about those hats. Thank you again, Marilyn, and congratulations, Stephen James and the entire Kieran Timberlake team.